if you had the opportunity to change just one thing that would bring positive change to the world, what would it be? We gave them five minutes to come up with their answers. To make a campaign in awareness to the amount of rising street kids because we are the future, as she said, for tomorrow. If we help those street kids, we help Fiji. That's awesome. Good on you, Jocelyn. To be able to try and stop poverty. Wherever we go in Lautoka, we see beggars all around. <clears throat> what we talked about, eh, there's only one thing that we should change is that we should change how the youth think because if we change how they think and imagine when they grow up, they will truly make a difference. Mm -hmm. Racism? Because mm -hmm. it wouldn't be cool like if we have different cultural friends walking beside us and identifying and understanding the way they do things. Uh, changes, changes the both impacts, positive and negative. Like in our country, there's been increasing unemployment and uh, um, the government is trying so hard to reduce that and in order for the government to reduce that, they need to subsidize more into companies, industries, so that this youth can be absorbed into work. That's, that's really good. You're thinking about unemployment, you're thinking about everything that's linked to unemployment. Raising awareness in mental health is important. You know, uh, something I would want to change is, is the words I use. Because like, if you say something positive to a person, you help them grow positively, but if you say something really negative to a person, they will sort of grow up in a negative way. Someone mentioned it all starts from home. So if we say it all starts from home, who makes up home? Change home, we change the house, like paint the house or <laughs> change. I think I should change my mother. I think I should change my dad. What do you think? Who should change? That's right. If there's one thing that I would choose, I would choose to change the heart of men. So we stop looking outside of ourselves and we start looking into us. If I just change the way I think, though, if I just change the way I use my words, if I just change from uh, stop uh, um, uh, thinking about my limitations and step beyond my limitations. I will not be in poverty. So you don't begin to measure your state of life through money or gadgets. So if you talk to me about poverty, I know what that means. I know what it is to grow up from there um, and have nothing. <laughs> and literally have no shoes to school, I know that. So did that define me? No. Just kept changing the way I viewed my world. And I kept, no, I think this is what I can contribute. The change in my heart contributes to the change of the whole society. My one comment, my positive comment, and my FB status contributes a little bit to creating a more positive vibe. Today, I made a presentation about what Rain Project uh, is about. And uh, before that, I also introduced the, mu the, the song. Uh, brain that I had written. I began to write a song about what I thought um, at that time during elections and I think every one of us were very uh, at the time like the media was just so onto our face about elections and all of us wanted change. We're like we want better education, we want this, we want this, we want this. We just demanded and just didn't take time to sit down and think about myself like think about how can I contribute to all this thing that's happening. Did you ever take time to think like that? So I wrote this song called Rain. Can be positive in the midst of all this negativity. I can still be determined and work hard even in the midst of this saying Fiji is a third world developing country or oh, I come from the village and, and all of that. It uh, um, allowed them, it gave them um, um, something to think about like they really sat back and thought about life uh, after watching rain. Uh, they looked into the philosophies of rain 
and looked at the message in the uh, the song Rain, and they went out with that message inside of their heart. Um, that change begins inside of them. Elena and the team then went on to interview the chosen 25 to find out who would qualify for the top 10 and be part of the 11 weeks workshop series. I think it's important to change who you are in a positive way and in a very empowering way. I'm willing to give a thousand percent. I'd love to develop my writing skills. Do you have other original songs that you've written apart from the one that you've just said? Hit songs. I believe in uh, growing. For me, my studies always comes first. Cause I'm keeping you forever and for always Is a lily of the valley And in my heart you will stay true And that you'll be mine According to Elena, it was very hard to decide on the final 10. It was not only about talent, but also about the ability to grow and their commitment to the project. But a decision had to be made there and then. Uh, today has been productive for you. I hope you've learned a few things today. For those of you that will be chosen today, we have a very high expectation of you. Uh, a high standard for all of us to meet. So you have a, a greater demand on you to produce, to produce a commitment, a high level of commitment, a high level of integrity, a high level of teachability, humility, flexibility, all of that will be demanding from you uh, from the top 10. The 10 that will be chosen today will obviously go through the 11 weeks program. So without further ado, we will be announcing the top 10 participants who have made it into the RAIN project. You ready? Yes. Ezra Walla Walla. Atheda Mbaribilala. Daniela Denselao. Emosi Ndavuke. Anna Wanga Shamil Khan Jose Rambonu Savinada Mburesova Jocelyn Karawa Levi Seru Kalo So this is our top 10 for in project